Hi guys, I'm 50 today and I thought I'd take this opportunity to tell our story as there's a lot of new followers on here. So this farm, our farm came to life in 1923 with the passing of the Irish Land Act, which enabled Irish people to buy land for the first time. Uh, my granddad at the time was uh, working as head gardener in local Craig Castle. Uh, that was a time before chemicals and plastic were prevalent in the food industry as it is today. It was a time when there was the first new season produce was anticipated with much relish. Uh, a lovely tradition that's been handed down and we still have today with the arrival of new season potatoes. But I wonder what he would have thought about how our food is produced today. I wonder what he would have thought about how uh, Irish food production has been devalued to the point of extinction. Um, and what he would have thought about the use of chemicals and plastic in our food system. Chemicals that mean the bees are dying, biodiversity is disappearing, our waterways are polluted, um, waterways once filled when brimming with fish, pristine and clean, are polluted and uh, are polluted with chemicals and toxic green algae due to um, soluble fertilizer runoff. I'm sure he would have been impressed with the availability 24-7, 365 days of the year of all the produce, but would he have thought it was worth it? I think, or I'd like to think he probably would have not. Um, and as myself and Jenny and my dad embarked on uh, packing our first boxes 18 years ago on overturned pallets on empty Guinness barrels, I wonder what he thought he, we were mad. And I think he probably would. But at the same time, I have a sneaking suspicion that he would have, uh, he might have been proud and happy to see the land that he farmed, farm, still being farmed in a sustainable and uh, with, uh, with respect for the land as he would have done. So thank you, Grandad. Thank you, Dad. And thank you to all of you for your support.